story of my life, waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> It's just after 11.30 a.m. Sunday morning, November 14th. My sister's birthday. Everybody tell Karen happy birthday. Um, we are trying to keep what's her face calm. It's a work in progress because we're going for a W-A-L-K. And to say she gets excited is an understatement. So anyway, we're going to go for a walk this morning. Um, it's not rainy out at the moment. It's partially overcast, 64 degrees, kind of warmer than it's been, and but windy. But we're going to go for a walk, and we will see what we can see. She's being good so far. Good girl. Anyway, we'll be back. discussing lamb research business which is none of our business anyway hello everybody i don't think i vlogged yet again today i think it's on the second day in a row i waited until god knows when what time is it uh 1 36 p.m not quite as late as the other day anyway i have been just lazing around i need to go downstairs and do the dishes but i don't really want to um I've been lazing around today, just catching up on things. I did have one more video I wanted to film for the month, um, for sure. I, I mean, I still need to do Mission Inspirations, which I've got to print. I don't remember where I left off. October. Did I do November's? I don't know. Um, anyway, besides that, I wanted to film another Art Foamies video, playing with my Art Foamies episode three. 
and some tips and tricks and things I am discovering about art foamies and unexpectedly doing a rainbow. So if you want to ha know how I did that with my art foamies and what exactly I did, I ain't going to show you. You got to watch the video on Saturday the 20th. You gotta watch the video. This is one of the ones, this isn't my art phony stamp design, but how cool is that bird in rainbow, right? Um, I did do some of my designs, so I did rainbow arrows, because who doesn't love a good rainbow arrow? And I also did our favorite moon, rainbow moon. And I did the little mini paisley a few times. I can only see this one right now. I don't know where the other one is because there's so many papers, but here's this one. Oh, here's another one. I know I did it more than that, but anyway. Oh, here. So that's my paisley and then that's another. This is another one. Cool, right? Okay, so I had a lot of fun with that. So but you gotta go watch the video. Um, Anyway, I've been doing that and just kind of lazing around. I got the video edited and it's loading right now as we speak. And then in the meantime, I've got to figure out what I did with Mission Inspiration and I need to print those because I have no idea. Tuesday morning, November 16th, I think. I think. I know it's Tuesday. Um, it's 9, 12 a.m. It is 42 degrees out. 42. It's not supposed to rain the next couple of days, but it's supposed to be cold. And believe me, it's cold. I think our high today is supposed to be 48. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I am obviously in the car. I'm headed out to go to the grocery store. side mirror had to wipe it off that's better I'll be back hang on to say my car needs to warm up is probably the understatement of the century all right <laughs> an old car like she needs a couple minutes uh, anyway we are gonna go to the post office and check the PO box first and then we'll go to the grocery store I think that's the only two places we have to go thankfully but you know supply chain being what it is like, I guess you never know, right? And I need to get stuff for Thanksgiving dinner, so I guess we'll find out. And I need to switch on the, you know, I need to switch on the home on, let's see. That thing. All right. Hey guys, it is 2.42 p.m. I, I just, you know, when my hair is growing out, it just, anyway, I am so surprised the mail's here. I'm shocked. Okay. <laughs> it's never here this early. Um, anyway, I came home after doing all that and running errands and oh, my key doesn't want to come out. Um, having lunch, um, I went upstairs and I started working on the new YouTube channel again. And basically I've done all that for the rest of the day. Um, while I was loading video in between sessions of getting video to load and sorting and organizing them, I was die cutting some new doily dies that I got. Um, I like having the little mini doilies to do paper clusters and stuff with. Um, but they're kind of hard to find and they're kind of expensive. And I thought, why can't I just buy a couple of dies and use paper I've got laying around the art room or dollar store craft paper or something um, to make my own. And so I've been doing that and it's worked out pretty well. I mean, it's tricky. They're kind of a thin lit type die and 
they have a mind of their own and their doily dies. So there's a lot of little teeny bits. It makes a big mess, but I just sit there for an hour or so every now and then and cut doilies and it's all good. I'll put it It is 10.02 a.m. Wednesday, November 17th, I think. 17th. I, um, I was walking out, obviously we're in the car. I was walking out the front door across the driveway. And I think just out of sight of the security camera, the coyote was in the woods staring at me as it came out the front door. Like it's becoming a problem. And I'm trying to get a hold of the HOA management people and the school and like the dead trees and stuff are like of course an issue but the coyote is an issue a bigger issue i think at the moment so yeah anyway i am is my makeup funny anyway i am helping out uh adopted daughter jenny this morning with something she needs to be doing and so i'm going to be helping her with that i guess i should have blended a little bit better before i left the house uh anyway <laughs> um and I, it'll, I'll probably be out for a couple hours helping her. So I have my drawing bag with me and my small tablet. And uh, yeah, and for those that don't know, Jenny, I used to have a daycare business and Jenny was my very first baby at the daycare. And she's now a grown up married old lady and we've sort of adopted her and her husband into our family. So she's my second daughter. And um, yeah, when they need help with something, like we're there to help them. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go take care of some of that this morning and if I have free time while I'm waiting, I might drive over to Dick Blick or Craft Warehouse because both are nearby and I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna get myself situated and I'm gonna get myself on the road over to her house. The coyote kind of freaked me out, but you know. All right, I'll be back.
how are you? My art table looks like this. Cause yeah. Holy cow. 7 a.m. ish, Thursday, November 18th. I am taking the course by Felix Scheinberger, my current favorite watercolorist and pen and ink artist. And he in the, I haven't gotten past the introduction by the way, <laughs> but he did say in the beginning introduction part of the course, um, he shared what his preferred color palette of colors was that he uses besides pen and ink in his work. And of course, at first, the art supply hoarder that I am was tempted to, oh, oh, I need to go out to the store today. I need to go buy more watercolors. I didn't know I don't, you know, I don't have these. No, I don't. No, I don't. So I am making some substitutions for the colors that he uses using what I have. Um, so of course, you know, I've gone off on a tangent on that, finding the colors. And then I was like, oh, I should order, you know, another one of these pocket palettes because I like the box. And no, I shouldn't. I should use what I have, like the paint. <laughs> so we are doing a bunch of that today. I am going to get to paper clusters at some point. live shots. Wiley's here. He's been here all night chasing a buck. Well, if you've seen this clip, you've seen the other clips. He's back. It's bright. It's daytime. It's lunchtime. Hold on. There he is. You see him? He just made himself at home in my front yard. Somehow I don't think he's scared of me in the least. Yeah, Wiley, Wiley Coyote. Yeah. <sighs> Reminds me to call the wildlife people. So, um, I think I talked about the palette of colors I put together for the class I'm taking by Felix Scheinberger. Um, only color I'm not super sure about is the Naples Yellow. My Naples Yellow seems to be more flesh toned. I think than the one he's using, which is, um, yeah, but I think it'll work. I think, I think it'll still work. So these are the ones I came up with. These are the dried swatches for using just what I had. Um, and this is the palette of colors. These are schminky colors. I have some of them. Um, these are the ones he uses and you know, this is printed off the computer. So the color swatch isn't perfectly accurate anyway. That is drying down. It's just sitting here on the table. I got some drying done and I got some more stuff done on the new YouTube channel. was hoping I could get it done today. I've got five more videos to do and it says you've reached your daily upload limit. So God damn it. <laughs> um, I might film the bag video I've been meaning to film. I've been using the bags for about a week now and um, we'll go through the pros and cons of them. And um, yeah, that's going to be a Patreon video sorry um i will link the two bags i am using down below for you all here in the vlog since i keep mentioning them i will also mention the derwent bag somebody has mentioned to me which is now <coughs> excuse me is now on my amazon wish list because oh, no i have a bag thing <coughs> sorry hold on much um anyway um so but um so I will link all three bags down below, um, but I'm going to do a pro and con video and how I'm using it video for patrons and supporters. At some point you all might see it, but they get a first look for sure. And it might be a video that's just for them. No guarantees. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I think I don't think I'll get it edited today and the lighting is like kind of weird because it's dark and stormy outside, but I'm going to do my best because that's all we can do. I'll be back. Okay guys, so I got the art bag video filmed. 
uh, for the patrons and supporters. I will, like I said, for you guys, link the art bags down below that I'm currently using, um, except the, this one, no, this one. I don't remember where I got this one. I have a feeling it might've been from Wish or something. I don't know. Um, but the other ones I will link. Um, this one is a makeup bag. It doesn't come in that color anymore. It now comes in this color. If you want to know the details about how I'm using the bags, what's in all the bags, what works, what doesn't, what I've modified, what I haven't, you have to be a patron or supporter, sorry. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna clean things up and go back downstairs, I think, because I think I'm done up here for the day. Uh, if YouTube is finished, maybe. I'll be back. It's Friday morning, November 19th, 10 a.m. straight up. Um, I just edited a video for the patrons and supporters, and it is saving and rendering right now. Um, hopefully later this afternoon I can get it and the rest of the old video onto their private YouTube channel for them today and get that just done. I'd love to get that done so I can focus on other stuff. Laundry to do, breakfast dishes to do. Um, there's always an art project to work on, uh, let's be honest. So, um, I've always got that to do. But which one to do first? I don't know. I might go do laundry and dishes first instead of art. I know, shocking, right? Tomorrow morning we need to get up um, shortly after breakfast and we need to um, go to Costco and get some things that we're running low on and some stuff for dinner tomorrow night. That guy, Polyus, and Polyus' dad, our tourists, are going to all come over. I think we're going to just do something si simple like frozen lasagna and garlic bread. Um, something very easy, low-key. Um, so that's good. And But we need to get all this stuff for that tomorrow morning. Uh, and maybe go to Winco and or... Fred Meyer, because I almost said Target, because we have a few other things we're out of, and you just kind of never know with the supply chain issues being what they are, which things are going to be in stock at which stores. So yeah, that's a thing. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. Yes, I'm just pacing around the art room, getting some extra steps in. This is something I do on a fairly regular basis, which is why before we even go out walking in the evening, I sometimes have as many as 5,000 steps already because I just pace. Probably is why my knee is all messed up. And messed up is not the word I wanted to use. The word I wanted to use is starting with an F. But y'all know what I mean. I don't want to be demonetized. All right, that's it for the minute. I may do a little bit more work on that today. We'll see, but definitely probably soon because I'm, I'm ready and I have some things I want to do to that. Although, I'll be honest with y'all, I'm really liking it just in black and white. Let me go over there and show you. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. But there's just something about that that I'm very tempted to start a different painting on and leave this one the way it is. I am very tempted. What do you all think? Leave something in the comments below. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. I don't think I've checked in today. Uh, it's Saturday. 
November. November 20th. 2.59 p.m. So it's almost 3 o'clock. And I didn't check in yet. Oops. So we went and ran a whole bunch of errands this morning. And now we're going to go out for a walk. My Guys, niece it is 7.50 p.m. on Saturday. And the family has just left um, from having a very nice dinner together and um, the kids went back to their house with Paulisa's father and I think he and his dad are doing more kitchen reno tonight. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And He's putting up top, uh, upper cabinets. The upper cabinets, right? They're going to try to get the cabinets in and I guess they put two wind new windows in today. Yeah. Anyway, they're trying hard to get it done for the Christmas holidays. Archer said something about having, having it done for Christmas for Rebecca. So anyway, it was a very nice evening. Mm -hmm. I do think that we're probably Lily watching tomorrow. We heard that as they were leaving. And yeah, so anyway, <laughs> but that's okay. You'll see that in the next week vlog. Good morning, everybody. Did my exit last night for the vlog make sense? Because I was really tired. Could you tell? Holy cow. All right. I hope you guys have had a great week, that it's been a good time, and that you have had um, uh, a, sa a safe, healthy, happy week. Yeah? All right. If uh, you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Uh, check out the video descri description for relevant links and um, links to the Etsy shop and all that. Most of it is in my link tree list of links, which is down below. Anyway, you can also send me happy mail. My address is down there. Feel free. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next vlog. Go out and have a good time. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.